What's up agents, Zero here, welcome back to the lab. Today we're gonna to be taking another look at Education Edition and we're gonna be looking at all the different recipes for the lab table. Now for those of you who are not familiar with Education Edition, it was a version of Minecraft developed by Mojang specifically to teach kids with using the help of educators about different things in the world including science and other things and this is actually built directly into Bedrock Edition so you do not have to download anything extra in order to be able to play around with this. I'm not going to go into too much detail about that but if you guys want to learn more about Education Edition make sure to check the playlist down in the description. It'll take you to all the Education Edition videos that I've done so far so you guys can learn a lot more about it uh, using that link. Anyway let's go ahead and get started. So this is the block of focus for today's video. This is the lab table. If we go ahead and walk around it, you're going to notice that it actually has a completely different texture on all four sides, which actually makes it a rather interesting block, all things considered. And this is what the GUI itself looks like. You can put all of your ingredients up in these slots right here, and then you would click the combine button, and now actually create something specific. Now in order to actually craft some of the things we're going to be making in this video, you are actually also going to need this block right here. This is the compound creator. Now for the sake of simplicity and time, I am not going to be using the compound creator in this video. I'm just going to be showing you guys the actual ingredients that the compound creator would actually end up making. So if you guys want to learn more about those items or pretty much anything in Education Edition in general, make sure to check the first link down in the description. It will link you to a PDF file that will teach you everything you need to know about Education Edition. Just wanted to let you guys know about that. So again, no uh, compound creator for this video, but it is necessary for what we're doing. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this chest and we're gonna go and grab these two almonds and we're gonna go ahead and throw them inside of the lab table and hit combine. And here's what's gonna happen. This is gonna give us an item known as garbage. Now, garbage only happens when you create an uh, incorrect recipe. So what we put in is just two entirely random elements and it gave us garbage. So if you actually put in the correct items itself, it will actually give you the proper item. But if it's not correct, yeah, this gives you this garbage. And what happens when it actually crafts this garbage is completely random. I know for a fact, I did some testing with this, I know for a fact one of the things that can happen is that this lab table will actually explode and set itself on fire. And more often than not, this isn't 100% the case, but more often than not, when that happens, it will actually destroy the garbage itself. So that is the first thing you can do with the lab table. Now we're going to go ahead and take this water and the sodium hyperchlorite and we're going to go ahead and place it inside the lab table itself. And if you guys take a look, there is now actually an animation now that we put in a correct recipe. An animation only occurs if you actually put in a proper recipe and there are two entirely different uh, animations that you can get from actually making something in the lab table. Again, if an animation does not occur, which is your only indication for a correct recipe, you will get the garbage. So let's go ahead and combine this. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us an item and this creates bleach. Now here is what bleach does. Inside this chest I have some wool, I have some carpet, I have a bed, and I have a banner. So if we go ahead and take our wool, obviously it's colored, and combine it with the bleach, what it does is it turns it completely white. And it does the exact same thing with the carpet as you obviously expect does the exact same thing with the bed. And last but not least, it does the exact same thing with the banner. Now the banner is actually kind of interesting because if you guys have multiple layers on a banner and you combine it with bleach, then it is going to remove every single layer that you have put on the banner. No matter what is on the banner, it will completely remove absolutely everything and turn it completely white. And yeah, as you probably expected, it uses up the entire bottle of bleach when you use it. Not really how it works IRL, but this is Minecraft, so I'm willing to at least give it a pass. 
Next up, we're gonna go ahead and go in here and we're gonna grab, grab all four of these sodium acetate and we're gonna throw all of these inside of the lab table. And once again, as you expect, it creates an animation. This is a completely different animation than what you saw the first time, but it is still animating, which means we actually have ourselves a correct recipe. So let's go ahead and combine this. And this is going to create an item known as an ice bomb. Now I actually have something already set up inside of the obsidian chamber in order to demonstrate the actual ice bomb itself. Now the ice bomb is actually a projectile that you throw and here's what it does. You throw it at water and it'll turn it into ice. Now it only freezes water into ice in a three by three area. So if you wanted to freeze over say for example a small lake then you're going to need a whole bunch of these ice bombs and these ice bombs will actually stack in sets of 16 as well so if you want to make a bunch of them you absolutely could obviously it would mean you need a whole bunch of materials but at the same time it's kind of interesting now it is a projectile but when you throw it at an entity it does not cause any damage whatsoever so that is something good to know now we actually are going to need the ice that we literally just created because the next item we're going to make is going to help us deal with the ice situation itself. So we're going to need this iron, this water, salt, and charcoal. And by the way, charcoal is actually something you can craft using the compound creator. I realize it is part of normal vanilla Minecraft, but you can in fact craft it using education dishes. So let's go ahead and throw all these items into the lab table. Once again, another animation, meaning we have something that actually works. So let's combine it. And this is going to create an item known as a heat block. Now this is actually a little bit of an interesting item, all things considered, because here's what it does. You place it near snow or ice, and it'll take some time, but what it will do is actually melt said snow or ice as you saw the block directly below it has just melted and it actually melts the snow and ice in a two block radius from wherever it is put so as you can tell it's slowly melting the ice in the area around but this is as far as this uh heat block is actually going to go now this is similar to uh, other light source blocks like torches and glowstone but it is not quite the same because this does not actually provide any light. Whereas the other light source blocks, obviously they give off life, but they also melt the blocks. This is the only block in the game that actually melts snow and ice, but does not provide any light whatsoever. So that's actually kind of interesting to know. Now we're actually done with the obscene chamber for this entire video. I actually have one more item of which we're going to end up making it requires just two items we're going to need a compound known as ammonia and we're going to need an element known as phosphorus so let's go ahead and combine these into the lab table again another animation meaning we have a correct recipe and what this is going to do is create an item known as super fertilizer now this is a really interesting item and this is extremely useful so i've actually got something up in the testing room to go ahead and showcase what this does and we're going to go ahead and set ourselves into survival to demonstrate this so inside of this chest i have myself a couple of seeds and some bone meal so i'm going to plant one of these seeds right here and i'm going to bone meal the seeds and it takes a few uh, pieces of bone meal in order for the seeds to grow to full maturity and the same goes with pretty much every crop it takes a few bone meal in order to completely grow it however if you have super fertilizer what it's going to do is grow it to full instantly so basically it's the exact same as bone meal in creative mode that's actually why i decided to go ahead and go into survival mode because if you use bone meal in creative mode it uh, grows them fully but in survival mode as you saw it takes a couple of bone meal to go ahead and grow it fully but as you saw the super fertilizer does it all at once which is actually rather interesting but other than that there's literally all there is to the lab table 
in education. That is literally everything you can make using this lock. So this is actually where I'm going to go ahead and end off the video. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure that like button. I'm more than make sure that subscribe button for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at agencyp 0 to stay updated. This is Mizzou Studios. Thank you guys for watching. And with that, I will see you guys later.